Welcome to the new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. And so if you'll recall, uh, I have written about the Gabriel polynomial and produced a couple of videos in the past, uh, but I've only mentioned it in the passing. And so in this article, which is very recent, uh, of course, the, the knowledge in it is over three decades old, but it's a, a new article, uh, which is dedicated entirely to the Gabriel polynomial, I discuss uh, an introduction in a lot more detail than I have in past videos. So um, I encourage you to read this article and to study it and see what are the features, the introductory features I talk about. So let's begin. Now, you'll recall that uh, I told you that the Gabriel polynomial came came about as a result of my study of Dan Alisi. And right at almost in the last chapter, Proposition 4, Newton discusses his uh, finite differences, finite divided differences, okay? And uh, I showed you how, in another article, how we got calculus, uh, the way in which Newton arrived at his interpolation polynomial, which you see in front of you. And then <clears throat> uh, I proceed to show you how he got it, and then I introduce the Gabriel polynomial, which is similar in the first order differences, but that's about where the similarity ends. And so in this article, I explain to you how everything works, and I actually give you a couple of examples so that you can see how the Gabriel polynomial works. And of course, I also show you that uh, the Gabriel polynomial doesn't care about the actual function itself or its derivative. So you don't need to know either, and you can perform systematic integration. So here are a couple of examples that I describe on these pages with first order and second order differences. And then I also introduce you to systematic integration using the Gabriel polynomial and I end by showing you how you can find areas without actually having to do any integration as you do in the mainstream calculus, where, for example, sometimes it's very hard to find uh, an antecedent function or a primitive function. So um, I encourage you to go to the detail section and download this article. I'll place a link to it, and I'll also place a link to an applet that you can play around with to see that it works with every function, and also to compare the uh, the speeds at which you can uh, find rational number approximations. Well, actually, in the Gabriel polynomial, they're exact because there is no error term like you find in Taylor's poly polynomial. And also I explain why there is an error term in the interpolation polynomial and Taylor's polynomial. So this is a nice new article. I think um, it's generally free of mistakes. So if, there, if there's an arithmetic error, let me know and I'll update it. So that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to announce. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, become one, click like, and tell your friends about it and spread the news. You'll also find me on YouTube and academia.edu and also my main new calculus site. So I'm John Gabriel. This is the New Calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.